hello students we are starting to solve the ib math a hl past paper questions from today and we will be solving a single question every day from the past papers we are starting with the paper ib math a hl may 2021 paper 1 time zone 1 and obviously we will be solving question number 1 today and since it is a paper 1 question we will not be allowed to use the calculator so without any further delay let us start with the today's question today's question is question number 1 and it contains five mark and the question says the graph of y equals f of x is between x is greater than or equal to negative 4 but is less than or equal to 6 this is negative 4 this is 6 and this is shown in the following diagram the part e says write down the following the, write down the value of i f of 2 and i i f of f of 2 so first f of 2 2 so is the x value so this is f of 2 sorry this is x equal to 2 so what is f of 2 the corresponding y coordinate is 6 So f of two is equal to six. Next is f of f of two. This is a composite function. This can be written as f of f of f of two. And what is f of two? It is six. So this is f of six. That means x is equal to six. When x is equal to six, what is the corresponding y value on the graph? It is negative two. F of six is negative two, so the answer is negative two. The part B. Let g of x equal to half of f of x plus one. x is having the same domain from negative 4 to 6 both included on the axis above sketch the graph of g the subpart a contain 2 mark and this subpart b contain 3 mark so g of x is obtained from f of x by some transformations done on f of x what are the transformations the first is we are having two transformations in fact the first one is the vertical stretch Stretch factor half. That means every point on the graph of f of x, the y coordinates of every point on the graph of f of x will get multiplied with a number half, but the x coordinates will be remaining unchanged. And what is the second transformation? It is the vertical translation. the vertical translation and what is the translation vector it is 0 1 that means the graph will be translated upwards by one unit okay so and which one should be done first should we be doing the stretch first or should we be doing the translation first we will be doing the stretch first because f of x is getting multiplied with half of x Uh, sorry half and then half of f of x is getting added to one therefore the stretch will be done first and then translation but if the expression was of this form f of x plus 1 then we would have done the translation first the f of x graph would have been translated upwards by one unit first and then the y coordinates would have been multiplied by half that means the translation would have taken place first and then the stretch okay but over here the stretch will be taken taking place first and then the translation so every y coordinate will get multiplied by half and then will be added to one this is the graph What is what are the coordinates of this point? Minus four comma four. 
this is minus 4 comma 4 the y coordinate is 4 half of 4 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so we will be having the point over here this will be the point of one of the points of the function g of x so its value stays unchanged it is minus 4 comma 3 and this one is this one originally was 0 comma 4 and now it will be 0 comma 3 and what about the maximum point the what is the y coordinate or rather what are the coordinates both the x and y coordinates at the maximum point they are 2 comma 6 so half of 6 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 therefore the point will be over here 2 comma 4 finally x equal to 6 the corresponding y value is negative 2 so this is the point 6 comma negative 2 and half of negative 2 is negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So this will be the point on the g of x curve. It will be 6 comma 0. Okay. So the g of x graph will be at this time. We are starting from this point and it will be coming like this. Okay. Somewhat of this shape. Okay. So this is the G of X curve. So students, we have completed answering question number one of this paper. Thank you for staying with me till the end. If you have any query, please do write to me in the comment area. I'll be trying to answer as much as possible. Okay. And we meet again tomorrow with the next question. That is question number two. Till then, bye.